Hey everyone, this is American Airlines 7. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the, uh, let me just get those hairs off. I'm going to be doing a review of the American 787 by Gemini Jets. Um, this is probably my top second favorite model. Um, I wouldn't say of all time, but it definitely is up there. Um, I mean, yeah, it really doesn't have any flaws, so um, let's just get into the review. All right, so we are going to start at the front of the model. Now, I have a few things to say. I think overall the front looks pretty good. Um, you know, you have your door right here, you have the One World logo, and you have the American logo uh, on the right. I think the door detail is fantastic. Um, the windows are very accurate to the real 787. They're like the new kind of windows that the 787 has, which I like. They're, I guess, more, I would say they're more futuristic in my opinion, but that's besides the point. Where I think they fell short um, for me was the detail on the side, um, where the pitot tubes are and all the instruments. Uh, there's just, I mean, you could see those four dots, but there's really no, it's kind of just bland. And um, I don't know, that's where it falls short on the nose for me. But um, there are some a other aspects of it where it does really well. So, yeah, that's that, that's the only bad thing I have to say about it. Um, so let's go ahead and um, let's see. Let's take a look at the engines next and the next door down. So the detail right here I think is pretty great. Um, on the door right here, the detail is fantastic. Um, again, another One World logo right there. It's kind of hidden within the R. I don't know if you can see it or not. You have the, um, what are these, the landing lights? Um, I'm not sure if they're landing lights or wing lights, but you have the little light detail right there. And then you have the engines, which are uh, pretty good. Uh, they have the, um, let me move it up. You have the chevrons right there. Yeah, so engines are pretty good. Uh, I don't know why there's so much fuzz on this model. There we go. Yeah, so that's something I really like about the engines. Well, obviously the 787 has the chevrons, but I think it looks really good on this model. Um, and uh, yeah, so then moving up to the top, let me just scoot this up. As you can see, on the top here we have the have an antenna right here, and then we have the Wi-Fi dome right here. Um, the Wi-Fi dome, eh, I'm not sure the coloring is completely correct. Um, I have to take a look a look at some pictures, but I don't think it's gray. I'm pretty sure it's white, but I could be wrong. Don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know. Um, and it is a little, little chipped right there. I don't know if you can see it, but overall, it's decent. Um, the wings. So let's talk about the wings for a sec. So, um, the wings are actually, they might actually be my favorite part. Look at that wing flex. That is awesome. So that is one of the th good things about this model. Um, accurately de uh, depicts the wing flex on the 77, which is... Uh, it's, it's a big part of its, you know, look and its characteristic. So you, when you see this, you know right then and there it's a 787. Um, moving to the back of the plane, we have the uh, registration and the back door and a few more antennas. The registration on this model is N802AN. Uh, that's actually not no, it's a zero, but I said O. Oh. Um, and you have the American tail which is probably probably my favorite livery. Um, besides maybe like United or the new Southwest livery. Um, I'm actually also really liking the Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus is new livery. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, I think the only thing else I wanna talk about is the bottom. The bottom doesn't have too much, but I'll go ahead and talk about it real quick. Let me zoom out here. There we go. So, you know, you have the standard, uh, where is it? Come on, focus. Yep, there it is, Gemini Jets logo. And 
wheels right there with the uh, uh, landing gear bays. You can see their outline. The stand hole, of course. A little bit more detailing and the front nose wheel gear with those doors as well. If I can get that in focus, there you go. Um, so that's that. And then I, th I think there was, there was one other thing I was gonna talk about. I forget what I was gonna say though. Um, what was it? I think that was it actually. Um, oh yeah, yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah th that was it. Um, yeah, so I know this is pretty quick, but I just wanted to take a look at the plane and uh, show you guys, you know, up close and up front what, um, you know, what you see when you uh, get the plane. So, yeah, that's been my review of the American 787 uh, by Gemini Jets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe if you want to. Um, the first PP the first three people saying they subscribed, I'll be getting back to in the comment section. So do that if you want me to write your comment and get back to you. But anyways, that's it for me, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.